We're here today to talk about thinking differently, about thinking differently. So, so let, me, let me give you another side of the power of the assumption, the power of the assumption. Um, most people will assume here that I have how many coins in this hand? One, one, right. Well, your life experience kind of tells you there is one coin in this hand. But if you were to challenge that assumption, in essence, you were to follow the other hand, how many coins might you think in this hand? You might reconsider and say there is zero. Right, there would be zero coins in this hand. And by doing that, challenging the assumption and following the other hand, you discover there is no coin in this hand. You discover that the coin is still in the palm of the left hand. In other words, you have discovered a secret of the trick, or more importantly, a solution that did not exist before. Let me demonstrate it again. So your life experience tells you there is one coin here. You challenge that assumption. You follow the other hand. You discover there is no coin in this hand. You discover that the coin is still in the left hand. You have discovered the secret of the trick or a solution that did not exist for you before. And that is the power of the assumption, the ability to help us generate solutions that did not exist before. Now, let me talk to you a little about, about the process and about how it works. The key is to recognize that you are making an assumption. Then you know you have a choice. You can follow that assumption or you can follow the other hand. Okay, so give me some ideas. How do you heighten customer engagement? Yes. Test the emotions? A touch, a touch their emotions. Yes, and someone, yes. Solve a problem. Terrific. All right, these are all great examples. These are all terrific examples. They are also fairly conventional examples. Conventional means that everybody else is thinking of those solutions at the same time. And in order to think differently means that you have to kind of look, while everyone's looking this direction, you want to be able to look over here. So let me share with you two very interesting case histories which demonstrate the point of how do you heighten engagement by challenging assumptions and following the other hand. The first example I want to give for you is Brita. How many own a Brita? Okay, a lot of you own Brita's. Now, what is the major feature of a Brita? The filter. So when Brita approached us to develop a TV campaign for them, a DR TV campaign, we naturally focused on the filter. After all, the filter was fairly good. The filter removes, I think, 98% of the copper and lead and other minerals. And the campaign worked, but it was not very successful. And it was Brita that came to us and challenged the assumption. And they said, we've been thinking about this. We've been thinking that, you know, it, a filter is what our major benefit is. But I think there may be something more important than the filter and what the filter takes out. And that is, they said, taste. See, we were busy focusing on the concept of the filter. And what it really was about was taste, because what the filter did is made the water taste good. And so we developed a new campaign, a new campaign. And in this campaign, what we did was we showed beautiful waterfalls and running streams and bubbling brooks. And over them, we superimposed Los Angeles, Chicago, Brooklyn, New York. And from that, we developed a tagline, tap into taste. And that campaign was very, very successful. What it taught us was that what we think is the obvious benefit for the consumer may not always be the most relevant to the consumer. And we discovered that by challenging our assumptions and following the other hand.